Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jasmine Destine. If you're new here, if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up, what's good, what's goody? We are back with a new video. I'm going to be doing, as you guys can tell from the title of this video, my own tape-in extensions at home. I have these gorgeous uh, curly tape-in extensions from Curls Queen. Today's video is sponsored by Curls Queen. And I'm going to be doing an install at home on myself. You guys know I coin myself um, a DIY queen. I like to do a lot of my services at home. I just feel like I've watched enough YouTube videos and I know the do's and don'ts. And no, I'm not a professional hairstylist. So if you guys are excited for this video, then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the tribe. And let's just get right into the video. Okay, so inside your little bag, you're gonna get your tape and extensions in here. But they also sent, and I thought this was really cute, a bonnet with some um, things inside. So there's some clips in here. There's a brush in here. I already have one of these brushes and I use it all the time to tangle my hair. You get a comb. There's more tape. So they actually send more tape for you. So if you end up, you know, messing up on one of the extensions, you can remove the tape on there and apply a new strip, which is really nice. And there's a bunch of them in here. I opted for the curly hair because I want to, although I am going to be straightening my hair to install these tape-ins and I'm going to be straightening the tape-ins because I want to see if you can straighten them and then if they'll revert back to curly hair. I wanted something that would look really natural but the hair looks really nice. Curls Queen hair is so soft like every single time that I've worked with their hair it's extremely soft and luscious and full. I have three bundles here. Um, this is like their ultra glam set. I believe it's called I have all the specs in the description box down below The first thing I'm gonna do is actually I just finished Washing a deep conditioner that I had in overnight in my hair. I just washed it out So my hair is very wet. Well, it's damp. I'm going to blow it out using my handy dandy blow dryer brush I've used this a ton of times on my channel I literally have so many blowout videos, so if you guys want like a more in-depth tutorial on how I use this, I'll link it below and it'll be in the top corner. And then I'm going to blow out and straighten the tape in, and then we're going to install them together. I forgot how straight my blow dryer brush gets my hair. I honestly don't think I'm gonna have to straighten my hair on top of blow drying it, but I, I, I know I do wanna put curls in it, so that'll also straighten it. But I just did one side. I just finished blowing my hair out. It literally looks straight, so I'm not even gonna have to put a flat iron on it. Hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. I'm gonna straighten two bundles because part of me feels like I might not end up using all three. This is what the texture of the hair looks like. Straight out the pack. Very tight curls, I will say. Okay, so I've set up in my bathroom and I actually set up a tripod with a mirror behind me and then I have my large mirror in my bathroom in front of me. That way I can see the back of my head because Honestly, the most difficult part of this entire process is just making sure that your parts are really neat and straight and that you're not grabbing too much hair. So you need to see the back of your head in order to do that. Um, and I feel like it would be nearly impossible to do without a mirror set up behind you. So if you have like a double mirror, that's perfect. Um, but if not, then like getting like a mirror propped up on something like... This is really the only way I would have been able to do it on myself. But um, I started off by sectioning my hair 
down the middle so I have two halves and then taking the lowest section on the bottom like kind of just marking off about maybe two inches up of hair that I'm not going to be placing tape ins on and then starting from there because I want to be able to put my hair up in a bun or a ponytail and the tape in not be visible of course so this first one I laid down I ended up peeling back up because I stuck it too far over like too close to the part the middle part um, you can move the tape ins before you sandwich them together but once they're sandwiched together it is a wrap they're on until they aren't anymore but if you do it right then they'll be stuck on for a couple of weeks so um i did my first little section that's what it looks like sandwiched between two pieces um not my best but for my first time yeah it was pretty decent like i was actually kind of shocked i'm next gonna go in and section out a little bit more hair so i was doing this technique where like i would do two tape ins sandwiched together and then i would part a really thin piece of my hair off to cover the tape in and then do the next one and i only did this towards the bottom of my head but honestly i should have not skipped because i could have used more fullness towards the bottom and less on the top so on my way up like working my way up my head I started to not skip sec sections, but I'm saying from, you know, watching the footage back and obviously seeing the whole process, I wouldn't skip. So don't get confused when you see that, like I'm parting and then like covering the tape in basically. I didn't want them to be visible, but I could have just did tape ins on every single piece that I parted out. So. I was starting at first like I would do the tape in on top and then I would flip the hair up and do the one underneath but you'll see in a couple of clips that I actually end up placing the one underneath first that was easier and then flipping the hair back down and sandwiching the other piece on top that method worked way better for me so these first couple of ones I did the opposite way and it was harder but yeah i mean look at me parting my hair this was so hard and i'm not even like really you know particular about parts to be honest like i don't care about stuff like that <laughs> but this you have to be very particular and it's very important because you don't want to section out too much hair if you have too thick of a piece and you try to sandwich the tape ins together it'll actually feel like uncomfortable you'll feel discomfort where it is and they also just might not stick and if you don't put enough hair in between then it'll also feel uncomfortable you'll feel discomfort and tightness on your scalp um, no matter how low and it's because you don't put enough hair in between so just know I'm speaking from experience okay so listen to what I'm telling you if this is something that you're gonna try at home um, I honestly would have loved to have had help like someone do the back of my head and then I just do the front but I live alone and that was not an option so yeah here we are <laughs> I'm up for a challenge though I wanted to show you guys the difference between one bundle straightened and one in its natural state so these were the straightened pieces um, it took me about an hour to straighten two bundles of hair so like an hour and a half to straighten all three um, the hair straightened really easily like literally one pass with my flat iron and the curly hair was like pinned straight which I really liked so I just thought I'd mention that as well but yeah this is me just repeating the same steps like once you do it and you see how easy it is like I could see if I was doing this on someone else, I would have been done in like an hour, but doing it on myself, this took about three hours and it was because of how slow I needed to move with parting the back of my head. Once I got to the front sections, I did both of the front sections in like 20 minutes. If that, it might have even been quicker, but it was really the back that took the longest for me and that I was really taking my time with. Um, so I was only doing one tape in on 
each section like move working my way up from the bottom to the top of my crown but you'll see also in a couple of clips that I'm gonna start doing two um, because I wanted more fullness I honestly don't think I could have I, I mean I kind of could have squeezed two on here when it's like at this point but I felt like they would have been too close to the parts that I created and I didn't want to have any tape ins that were like obviously visible you know so yeah that's me sticking and then this these were the clips where i was showing that i had two on one section but i don't know why i was so zoomed in so you guys can't really fully see but i have two tape ins next to each other on one section and i'm sectioning out another piece so i can do another two more right next to each other and this is where i was able to get a lot of fullness at the center of my head to like really fill my pineapple and my ponytail and just my hair in general um so yeah and i'm doing the bottom first so i flip the piece of hair up first and then stick on the two and then flip it back down and stick on the two on top to sandwich and now we're at the front section but one side so it's basically like a little triangles because i have it split down the middle and then again behind my ear and I want to make sure that I part out enough hair to where again if I put my hair up in a ponytail or a bun then my tape ins are not visible so I'm going to make sure that I part out enough hair because the hair towards the front of my head is obviously slightly thinner too um, and then we're just going to go in doing the same exact steps you want to make sure that you don't place the tapes too close to your root because it will feel uncomfortable you will feel tightness you will feel discomfort and tension whenever the taping gets flipped in any direction like you'll feel it it will feel really annoying and uncomfortable and i'm sure it's going to bother you so make sure that you don't place it too close to your scalp to the part you want to leave like a little bit of space there you don't want it like literally right on top And yeah, I'm literally just gonna repeat the steps. So it's one piece, um, one tape in like sandwich on each section. And I'm gonna work my way all the way into a middle part. But it started to look so good. My hair also looks really healthy, which I'm really happy about. I've been doing Olaplex treatments and deep conditioning um, once a week, every time I like wash my hair. And I feel like that's really helped. And honestly, I don't really put heat on it often, um, but I wanted, I feel like the process of applying the tapins would have definitely been easier to do it on straightened hair um, rather than the curly hair. Like that would have just taken forever for me. And I don't even know if you can apply tapins on wet hair, but yeah. So this is the method that I did. And yeah, you guys can kind of just watch me do the rest. It's really the same thing throughout, like, it was just the back of the head that really took the longest. This was really quick for me. Okay, so I've applied all of my tapes. You can see where my hair ends a little on this bottom section, especially because I just have a really blunt cut like my hair is super blunt so I did um, try to blend my hair with the tape ends I didn't show it but I did a little bit of layering and just trimming of my hair because my hair is just so blunt so I was okay with that I wanted it to look really natural especially um, when it reverts back to its natural state so and then I'm going to curl my hair. I'm using my Baby Bliss curling iron. This is a one and a half inch barrel. And I'm gonna also be pinning my curls up as soon as I'm done curling a piece. I have started doing this like even on my wigs and everything. Whenever I do curls, I started pinning them while they're still hot and then spraying them with hairspray and they last so much longer. Like literally, I don't know why I wasn't doing it like this the whole time, but my curls literally last way longer. They hold 
so much better and they overall just look nicer like they look really voluminous and volumized and big like this is a must i understand why hairstylists do it i never really like thought much of it but now this is how i do all my curls i'm not the best at it i'm still learning of course but they came out really good as you guys will see in a couple of clips but i'm gonna always spray right after i pin because i want to obviously hold the shape so along with pinning i'm spraying with my aussie hairspray that smells so good and i got these pins from my local beauty supply store it's usually like 20 in a pack so i just bought like two or three packs so that i had enough and yeah i'm just gonna let you guys watch me curl my hair So your girl finished doing her makeup. I'm about to take these curls down because they've already started dropping. Well, like falling out of place, really. So I'm, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm obviously running late to go somewhere. I have two events that I'm going to tonight, which is why I'm all dressed. But my hair came out so good, I think. I think, I think. Let me finish taking. And I feel like this hair is gonna hold a really nice curl because it's curly hair so it has more texture to it and it has a bit more density than straight hair or body wave hair so i feel like my curls are gonna really be giving curly curls it's thursday june 2nd it's actually my mommy's birthday i called her earlier and i was like are you doing anything she's not she's a very easygoing person when it comes to her birthday she's not really big on celebrating it so but it's thursday and i told you it's thursday because i plan on doing a check-in with these tape-ins in a couple of days when i decide that i want to revert them back to their original texture which is the curly and i want to see how it blends with my hair oh and I dyed my hair jet black. I don't know if no, anybody noticed, but I didn't do that on camera, but I did that yesterday so that they could also blend with my tape-ins. And oh my God, I'm obsessed. Okay, the curls I did in the front are, eh, they're not that bad actually. This is what my hair looks like. Let me show you it from the back so I can put it up in a ponytail a very thick ponytail might i add like my hair i have so much hair on my head so i ended up using like almost all of the three bundles i used like two thirds of the last bundle so i have like maybe like i want to say 15 more no 16 more pieces left oh this looks so good I'm so pleased. Okay, so I can do like half up, half downs, which I will be doing. Like, I'm about to wear my hair in so many different ways for pictures. This is so freaking cute. Oh, I'm obsessed. 
This is adorbs. Oh, I love it. And I got it to blend, girl. Like, this is what it looks like from the back. And it's just giving. I'm gonna have all the specs to this um, hair down below in the description box along with a discount code. Make sure you check that out. Check out Curls Queen. I'm gonna check in with you guys in a couple of days so we can see how these tape-ins hold up. See what it's giving in its natural state. But so far, I'm loving them. I think they look so cute. I love my hair. My hair looks so good. Ah! Yeah, so I'm off to these events. I'll check in with you guys in a couple of days. What is up you guys? I am back. We are back with an update on these tape-ins. So it is Monday, June 13th. So I've actually had these in for almost two weeks now. Um, and honestly, my final thoughts on these tape-ins, I'm in love. The curly tape-ins are perfect for summer. Um, you guys got to see me apply them and do the whole installation and I did them um, with the tape in straight so I straightened them off camera but honestly like I love 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 the way they look in their natural state so I still have them in um, I did lose three pieces so far in the two weeks that I've had them in the 12 days I've had them in and I'm almost certain that was because of my application and probably me not applying them the right way. Those three pieces that were a little bit looser, they might have had too much hair in between, sandwiched in between them, I'm not sure. But I don't think that speaks to the quality of the tape-ins at all because they are bomb. So the one thing that I will say is the curl pattern on the tape-ins is a little bit tighter than my natural hair. My natural hair curl pattern is like a 3B, sometimes 3A in certain areas, and the, the curly um, tape-ins are giving more like 3C. So this is what it looks like from the back, curl it up. I've been wearing it in a pineapple a lot, like when I go to the gym, I've been throwing my hair up in a pineapple, and it just looks so freaking cute. Like, I'm obsessed. It's perfect for the gym because I sweat a lot and I've done two wash and goes already. This is day two old hair. So I did a wash and go yesterday and I kind of just like revived my curls this morning and they just look so freaking good. Like, I'm in love. I'm obsessed. This is going to be like my favorite thing aside from like braids for the summer because I just feel like it's easier when it comes to like, you know, it being hot, you might get sweaty, you might want to be in the pool, you might want to be at the beach, you know, you might want to work out and you can't really maintain a wig in the same manner because you can sweat a wig off, you can't sweat your tape-ins out. Like I literally sweat so much with these in, like I be in the gym putting in that work, okay, dripping in sweat come home, wash my hair, my tape-ins are still perfect. And the curls, there was no damage done to the curls with me straightening them and I was able to get them really straight as you guys saw in the video. They were like really straight and I love it. I'm obsessed, these look so good. So definitely check out Curls Queen's tape-ins. I'll have a discount code for you guys down below in the description box along with a link to the hair that I'm wearing. Definitely check them out if you've been eyeing some tape-ins. I think the quality of the hair is bomb and it's definitely worth it. If you don't want to install them yourself like I did, you could definitely take them to a professional and have them install them, but I'm obsessed. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I love writing back to you guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the tribe, okay? We are growing every single day. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you and I can't wait to see you in my next upload. Bye.